each audition is different. So I would say really pay attention to the breakdown, um, depending on who told you about the audition, how, getting all the information you can. For example, who's the choreographer? Go online, YouTube, the style that that person has, look at the dancers they normally hire, what are they wearing, you know, are they super like performance or are they kind of just chill? Like there's all these energetic things that could help you in the audition because you might be a wonderful dancer, but um, say this choreographer does Afro styles, you might want to take a class of that before the audition. So um, yes, research the choreographer, make sure you're wearing whatever is period for that time. You know, for example, um, when I, I booked a Alicia Keys music video and um, the time I believe was 1950s and I had to be a Lindy Hop dancer. I'm not a Lindy Hop dancer, but I can research. So I looked online and, and we actually ended up going into the room and freestyling. And I was supposed to have a guy partner, ended up having a girl. You know, so those are, you have to do your research. So then when you get into the room, with the nerves acting and, and you know, not all these variables that are unknown, you can go, you know what? I know how to do this from this YouTube video that I saw. Um, I'm gonna wear my hair a certain way because it's from the 1950s. And I booked it because I, was, I stepped into the role. So making it as easy as possible for the choreographer to envision you booked that day, that includes your makeup. You know, if you're not a big makeup wearer, put a lipstick on, put, put something on. Like this is, it doesn't take away from your individuality, it's just you being smart. You know, you have to show them like, I can fit the mold of this project if you want it. Um, another thing for auditioning is um, being professional in the room. They're watching you when you walk in. They're watching you while you're sitting there stretching or talking to your friend. They're watching you how you get up and go. They're watching you if you're um, in a room with 50 girls and you're kicking people, you know, you have to be very spatially aware. There are people who will hit you. To me, I, if I saw that, I wouldn't really want to hire that person because they don't work well with others and they're, you know, it, it's a group thing. Being on time, preferably be early, making sure your headshot and resume, these are all the things that go into just being professional when you show up besides just show, um, showing your talent when you're dancing. So I say those are the most important things um, since as a dancer, you never really know what the audition just has all these unknown variables. So if you can control, you know, your research, how you conduct yourself, then they'll see that you're a professional and you'll have a higher chance of being hired.